Okay, so tonight we are making gorgonzola meatballs and gorgonzola stuffed meatballs, and we're doing some oven roasted uh, garlic red potatoes. So what I did for the potatoes is I cut them up into wedges. You can pretty much cut them however you want. And I just put some olive oil in there, um, just enough to coat however many pep uh, potatoes you used, about a teaspoon of garlic, and some salt and pepper, just as much as you want. And I just mixed it up, and I got my oven preset at 400. So we're just going to take the peppers, and we're going to lay them in here. Try and Peppers, <laughs> same peppers all day, and just trying to get the rest of the garlic out of here. Just kind of spread them out a little bit on the pan. You want one layer of potato peppers. <laughs> and you can probably, if you want, you can put more salt on them. And these are going to take a while. They're going to take about 40, 40 minutes to an hour and how much you want them cooked. So I know I'm going to put these in the oven. The bottom rack. Is there any pudding? You can use other things like veal or sausage. We're just using regular hamburger meat right now. And I've got about two handfuls of Italian breadcrumbs. Um, and I believe actually that's all we put in there so far. I'm going to put some salt. Um, about three tablespoons, uh, two tablespoons of salt, and a tablespoon of freshly cracked pepper. And then I am going to put in about a teaspoon, of a tablespoon of parsley. I'm going to do half a teaspoon of oregano. And we are going to do a full teaspoon. Freshly cut garlic, kind of fresh. Who cares? It's really good. Right. And then it asks for one whole egg. Okay. And then one egg yolk. And then I'm going to take some Parmesan. I said two handfuls, but I'm just going to grate the crap out of it. Really, I mean, you don't, you don't have to put it much too shredded. It's probably easier. It'll probably melt better while it's in there. So then what you can do is just get your hands into it. Mix it all up. This is the fun part. You just want to mix it up till you see that it's everything's been mixed together. Try and get everything from the bottom. It always seems to fall to the bottom. It feels very gross. It's going to taste amazing. Try and always bring the bottom up because the bottom always has everything on it. I'm going to mix it all in together. Stay consistent for like a few minutes because you want to make sure that the egg gets everywhere because that's what's going to keep it together with the breadcrumbs. Right. Try and make as best of a circle as you can. Alright, so once you get your balls formed, you're just going to coat the top with some olive oil or canola, whatever you have. I use extra virgin. Cut the entire top and get it all the way around. It's going to help it cook and not burn. And also, it's going to keep it moist because if you didn't do this, it'd be very, very dry. I'm just going to take the end of a regular spoon. Just make a little hole right down the middle, about halfway through. Just a little indentation. Stuff it in.
it in as much as you can. What cheese? Hmm? It's gorgonzola. Similar to blue cheese. Putting about two tablespoons of parsley in there. And just want to mix it up, get everything mixed in with it. Careful, not too hard because you're going to break the potato or pepper, whatever you use. I use potato peppers. Only meatballs and oven roasted red potatoes. Stay tuned for the next one. And I'm just rolling some balls of meat. I'm good with my hands. <laughs> what? Not with nobody's balls. <laughs> Put them off. Oh. I'm good with my hands. <laughs> Hazel wants meatballs. Here, try to get your hand. <gasps> you crazy.